What can we expect from you, bro? Um, hell. Hell. Back to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. While some persons believe in the existence of heaven and hell, others do not. Well, we've had several cases of people who claim to have gone to hell and back, and some of these people died and were brought back to life to tell the world what they saw. Some were taken to hell by Jesus and angels in their sleep and vision, and some had near death experiences. Surprisingly, most of these people saw famous celebrities like Extensator Sion, Michael Jackson, Princess Diana, Queen Elizabeth II, Selena Quintanilla, Mother Teresa, Pope John Paul II, Chadwick Boseman of Black Panther, Hitler amongst others in hell. And in this video, we bring to you some of these interesting but scary hellfire testimonies of the aforementioned celebrities and popular figures. Endeavor to watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on any of the story. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, you're highly welcome to Laura Emmy TV and please do what to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we upload a new video. We upload very interesting contents every day. Without further ado, let's jump right into our story. Different persons at different times claim to have spotted Michael Jackson in hell and the interesting parts of it is, these different stories always sound similar. We shall be beginning with the account of Samuel Lukewarm, a Christian brother who was driving home one day when he was hit by a truck. He awakened in hell and was shown three celebrities including Steve Jobs, Elvis Presley and Michael Jackson. And on Michael Jackson, he said, and I quote, That moment, the angel told me that many famous people come here. Famous people, like I should say, Michael Jackson. And this person was very satanic, although many people never knew this. But this is true because he had made satanic packs and he had made deals with Satan to be able to have his fame and many fans. And those steps he would do, that dance he would do is exactly how the demons walk in hell as they torment the people in hell. He showed me that Michael Jackson was being tormented in the flames and I would cry when the Lord showed me this. I cried so much because to see someone in hell is not easy and I saw how this person was being tormented. He would scream and that person that would listen to his songs, that sings his songs and, and all fans of his, I tell you that you're being tangled up in the nest of Satan so that you would go to hell. But I tell you this today, renounce that in the name of Jesus because he wants you to be free and does not want you to be lost because he wants to give you eternal life and love it. But only why? Because Satan, with the use of these tools, come and pose you towards hell. Well, Samuel Lukman claims all those who sing Michael Jackson's songs might likely be going to hell. Again, in 2009, Emmanuel Agiako, a young teenager from Kumasi in Ghana who started seeing visions since when he was a child, said he saw Michael Jackson and Princess Diana when he visited hell. He said, and I quote, one of the people I also saw as part of a group of musicians was Michael Jackson. He had an Indian magic ring on his hand, which made him to call on high powers of Satan. He said, I went for a ring from the devil. He gave me the fame and riches and voice like that of an angel. And now I am in hell suffering forever without Christ. It was this ring from India that gave him the high celebrity ranking and obtained power to sing amazingly. He is also among those who use charms during their lifetime on earth. I also saw Princess Diana and she was there for witchcraft and in hell she looks a bit deformed. She had a protective ring from India also but this obviously failed to save her 
on that fateful night of her accident. Feli Grace, a lady from the Arukongo, was taken from her body by God to witness her. She was shown the former Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, and here is her story. We finally arrived before many cells where souls were in prison. We stood before a particular cell. The Lord said, The one I have come to show you is here in this cell. Now open it. When I opened the cell, he showed me I found this western lady in this cell. She was in standing position and her hands stretched open. I saw that she had chained that penetrated and went through her, her two arms. They were chained that penetrated and went through her leg, her hip and her neck. Blood kept flowing. She was screaming ceaselessly and non-stop. I said, Lord, is she really the Queen of Britain? The Lord said, Yes, she is the Queen Elizabeth. After the life of glory she has lived on earth. This is her fate. The fire that was rising where she was standing, you cannot imagine that kind of fire ever existed. In her near-death experience and vision, 18 years old Ecuador Angelica Elizabeth Zambrano Mora said she was taken by the Lord Jesus to visit hell and heaven. And here is what she said about seeing Selena Quintanilla, who is sometimes called the Queen of Tejano and who contributed to the rise in Latin music popularity across the United States in the 90s in hell. She said and I quote, At that moment, the Lord told me that there were many famous people in that place and also many people who had known about the Lord and he said, I am going to show you another part of the furnace. He took me to a place where I could observe a woman who was surrounded by flames, very much tormented and she would scream begging the Lord for mercy. He signaled to her with his hand and told me, Daughter, that woman that you see over there, surrounded by flames, is Selena. The Lord told me that Selena was there and we started getting closer to her. She was screaming. Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me, Lord. Take me out of this place. She was repenting at that moment and the Lord looked at her and he told her, It is late. It is too late. You cannot repent now. She acknowledged me and turning to me, she said, Please, I ask you to go tell humanity about this. Please speak out and do not be silent. Go and tell them not to come to this place. Go and tell them not to listen to my songs nor sing my songs. I asked her, why do you tell me this? Why do you want me to go and say this? And she answered, because every time that they sing and listen to my songs, I am tormented even more. And when I am tormented, the person who does this, who sings and listens to these songs that I used to sing when I was alive, is walking to this place. Please. Go tell them not to come here. Go tell them that hell is real. She would scream and demons would hold spears from afar into her body and she would cry. Help me. Help me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. And the Lord told her, it is too late. I looked far away in that place full of singers and artists who have died and all they did was sing and sing. They wouldn't stop singing. The Lord explained, daughter, the person who is here must continue doing here whatever she did on earth if she has not repented. Gabriel Peters, a black African lady, shares her story of seeing Mother Teresa in hell. She said and I quote, I saw a woman dressed in a peculiar type of non-attire sitting on what looked like a white plastic chair. When I saw this nun, I was able to recognize her because of her unique non-dress which she used to dress. I saw her being tormented by flames that surrounded her. She was in great torment and I quickly noticed a large green light snake that surrounded her. It coiled around her and it was strangling her. 
I could see her face and I recognized her as Mother Teresa. I could not believe what I was seeing. I did not expect to see her in hell. After passing out in a bus while coming back from work, a man was shown by God where the rapper expected tension is in hell. He narrated, When I opened my eyes, I was in a dark place. I'm looking, I'm looking around. I knew I was in hell. It's so hot. You can't breathe because when you inhale, when you inhale, that is all you get. My spirit was being led to this cage I've seen in hell. And when I got close to the cage, I seen a man. He had dreads. I want to say black on one side and yellow on this other side. How he used to have it. He had on a shirt that he used to wear a lot. The striped shirt that was black and white mixed. He had on all his silver jewelry, rings and he was in a silver cage and my spirit was being pulled towards him. I couldn't help it and as I got closer, I would say we are about a foot apart, about two feet apart. When I was standing in front of him, he was gripping the bars of the cage like this with all his might and he had his head down looking at me like this with lots of anger. It was existential. Another man shares his experience of seeing Chadwick Bosman of Black Panther in hell. He said and I quote, I was just on the internet minding my own business until I saw a post saying that Chadwick Bosman had passed due to colon cancer and I got on my knees and prayed and asked the father to see where he is in the spirit. I'm asking because in his bio he said that he is he was a Christian and stuff like that. As I was on my knees and praying, seeing where he is, I asked him a question about where he is or if anybody with him or anything and he said no. But it was like a very authoritative no. It was like very vibrating, like a wake up call, like no. And he told me to stand up and I did. I stand up and he told me to look left and right. When I looked at my right, I see nothing. When I looked at my left, I see like an open vision where I see just his body, just in open flames. He was already burning in hell. So guys, what do you have to say about all of these hellfire testimonies? Do you believe heaven and hell truly exist? We would like to know your views and opinions in the comment section below. Your comments are highly welcomed. Thanks for watching and to have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.